Hello and welcome to ERPWebTutor.com and we are back again with one more edition of the Fusion Tidbit videos. Now in today's video, we are going to show you how to use the payroll batch loader to mass upload elements for employees. Now this is a very useful tool, especially when you want to add a bonus to a group of employees, you know, mass assign elements. So this is a very useful feature. Now for that, you need to get into your payroll administration so from the navigator, get into payroll and then administration. And then go to your batch processing and then batch loader. Okay. Now, one important thing that you need to know is this is very similar to your web ADI that used to be in EBS. And in order to for this thing to work correctly, you need to download and install the add-on for Excel, okay? And you can do that by getting into your navigator and under more, you will see called something called the download desktop integration installer, okay? So make sure you install that and you also make your appropriate Excel settings and we will post that um, the screenshot of the Excel settings as a part of this. So you can you know, have the right Excel settings and practice this. So once you have your Excel settings and everything ready, you are ready to download this spreadsheet and then you can use that spreadsheet to upload elements. So click on download. And once that Excel sheet is downloaded into your computer, open that. Now, once I click on enable editing, the macros will be enabled and it will ask me to connect to the application. Now here, if you are not seeing that it is asking you to log into your application, that means there's the macro settings are not correct and you do not have the appropriate settings in Excel um, in order to perform this task. So make sure you have that. So I'm going to log into the application And it's giving me a client server version check warning. That's okay. It's probably because uh, the installer was downloaded from an older version than the Fusion version right now. So once that is done, you will see that this is how the sheet will look like. So on this first worksheet, what you need to do is, first you need to create the batch by giving the batch name. So I'm going to call it demo batch and you must select the legislative data group. Okay. So once you do the batch name and the legislative data group, you can go ahead and save your batch. I don't need to download the rows. So I'm just clicking on okay. The only thing that you keep a note on is on the status that should say that the row inserted successfully. So as long as you see that, that means your batch got created. So once the batch got created, you can see that there are some, uh, there's some tricky aspects of it, uh, which are not very clear. And that's the reason we decided to you know, create this video to help a lot of uh, users. You can see that once the batch gets created, there's a information that says double click on a name to select the batch. Now you can have multiple batch created <clears throat> but at any given point of time, you can only upload elements for a one particular batch. So it is important that you tell this Excel spreadsheet um, when you go and start creating the, the lines for a batch <clears throat> that which particular batch you're going to use. Now, even if you have one batch, you still need to double click on the batch name. So click on the cell that has the batch name that you have given. In my case, demo batch, double click. Now, once I do that, when I go to my next sheet, which is the batch content sheet, the system will know that this content is for which batch. That's the purpose of that double click, which I just did. So now if I click on this batch content sheet, you can see on the top, this demo batch, United, Legis United States, uh, legislative data group, that information has been passed over, okay? Now, <clears throat> the next thing that I'm gonna do is, 
what am I going to do with this batch? I'm going to do some element entries for my demo spot bonus, okay? To do that, I need to click on add where I can select my action. My action or task name or task action name is create element entry. I can just type in up to this much. And the reference name is the element name. In my case, this is demo spot bonus, okay? And click on search. Now, of course, this is giving me all the related elements that got generated, but I'm only interested in the demo spot bonus element. So click on the element that you want and then click on OK. Once you do that, make sure that your task name, task action name, batch line status, and the reference got populated. Okay, make sure this is the line. And again, follow the instruction saying double click on the task action to select it. Okay, so this is the field that I need to double click in order to tell this application that this is what I want to do for this element. So double click. And the moment I double clicked, it knew that this is the element demo spot bonus and it generated the line for that, okay? And this is where you can see the line got generated and it should also have, have all the input values that I want. Again, like I said, um, I'm only interested in the amount, so I'm going to enter the value in the amount only. I need to give a line sequence that is required and the batch line status and all, I don't, I don't need to do anything. And the moment I enter a value and press tab, you can see that this changed flag, this flag got checked, okay? Effective start date, let's say I want to give this on 2, 19, 2016. But, I cannot use this date format. There's a specific date format that you have to use, which is the four digit year hyphen, the two digit month hyphen, the two digit day, okay? So this is the date format which you need to enter. Otherwise, it will not load. The person number, and I'm gonna use the person number for whom I want to add this, and again, the assignment number, this is not required, but especially if you have multiple assignments, in that case, this is an important information that you need to pass, okay? Same with the terms number. Now, this is where you can use this spreadsheet to mass upload. You can add, simply you can right click and insert more cells and more rows to it, and then you can use that upload multiple employees. So what you need to do is on your Excel spreadsheet, you will just generate the data for all the person numbers and all the amounts, and then you can just copy and paste it here, okay? So that's all I need, and I need the amount. My amount is going to be $500. That's all I need. And there's no other input that I need to enter. So once I have done this, I'm ready to upload, okay? It's very simple, just click on save and that will, you can see that click save to commit line details and update the number of batch lines, okay? So just click on save, that's okay. And make sure that the status says that row inserted successfully. Now, once you are done, you need to copy and just remember the name of the batch. This is the name of my batch, demo batch, because I need that when I am going to import that batch or transfer the batch onto the employee's element entries. Now, at this point, I've only created a batch with some lines in it, okay? It has not been assigned, that element has not been assigned to the employee yet. Now, to do that, that's our next step, which is, submit a process or report and 
here I'm going to select my <coughs> legislative data group and the task that I need to do or the flow is transfer batch. <coughs> so select that and click on next. And <coughs> you can give a name. I usually put the same name as the batch name. So demo batch flow. And this is where you need to search for the batch name that you created. In my case, it's called demo batch. I can just press tab and I should be able to find my batch, demo batch. And you can leave the configuration group. Uh, you don't need to enter that. Click on next. Click next again. And schedule, uh, if you want to schedule it or if you want to do it right now, which we're gonna do as soon as possible next and then submit so once i submit i am going to click ok and view checklist so that i can track the progress of the flow and you can see here <coughs> that this is what is happening with my payroll flow, click on refresh and monitor the status to sh make sure that the status gets the green check mark. You know, give it some time and it does not take too long depending on the size of the data that, that you're trying to upload. So the, here you can see that the green check mark has been uh, visible against all the tasks, which means my transfer batch process has been completed. Now, if I go to the employee and I should be able to see that this element entry got created. So let me go to person management and find for this employee with person number 6668. So once the employee information is queried, go to the manage element entries, and you can see that the demo spot bonus, depending on today's date, it got created with $500 input value, and also because of the non-recurring element, it has an effective end date. So this is basically how you use the payroll batch uploader or payroll batch loader, also called PBL, to mass upload elements for employees. Very useful tool, and I'm sure that this will help a lot of users, and this also is heavily used by a lot of end users to um, do mass element entries. If you have any questions, please post it, and do not forget to visit our site at www.erpweputer.com. Thanks for watching.